Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in New Orleans, and this is one of the greatest food cities in the United States. There are so many restaurants. It's even called the lunch capital of the United States. You gotta love New Orleans, baby. <laughs> yeah. One of the great on the go, quick, everyday meals is a po' boy. And a po' boy is any type variation of sandwich, which is typically served on a French bread loaf. Today, we're gonna go on an ultimate po' boy tour of New Orleans. We're gonna eat at five different places and try five, at least five different types of po' boys. Once you pick this up, you're ready to fully commit. There's no setting it down. All of the po' boys coming up in this ultimate po' boy tour of New Orleans. We're on our way to the first place. Before coming to New Orleans and before researching about po' boys, I thought and assumed that a po' boy was a sandwich, a New Orleans sandwich, or a Louisiana style sandwich, but filled with fried shrimp or fried seafood. I didn't know that a po' boy was actually just a New Orleans sandwich and it can be filled with all sorts of things from roast beef to fried seafood. Even luncheon meats can go into a po' boy. And I think maybe one of the distinguishing factors of a po' boy from any other type of sandwich is the actual bread itself, which is uh, a type of French bread. So again, we're gonna go to five different places and try at least five different types of po' boys in this tour right now. Welcome to Guy's Po' Boys. And from what some recommendations I got and from reading, this is a favorite local place. Let's go get our first Po' Boy. Could we do please one grilled shrimp, large, and one fried catfish, large? You want to keep up with me though, love his style. The, the French bread comes out of this massive bag onto the chopping board. He just swiftly, with so much style, slices it down the center. Then he adds on just like a heaping double fistful of shredded lettuce goes on. Tomatoes go on, mayonnaise go on, but both sides of the bread. Then on goes your main protein of choice. That could be fried shrimp, that could be roast beef, that could be the grilled shrimp. So much overstuffed gets wrapped up into your sandwich. And then I love the way he slices it down the center with so much style. Oh man, the toppings are overflowing. The, the passion here is, uh, I love it. Oh, uh, Derek's, <laughs> Derek's been put to work. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll show you all in slow motion. Okay. <laughs> Your skills, man. So you go around, you do all your own shooting, you do all yep, your own. Sorry. Yep. All your own editing. And all everything. my own filming and editing. Yep.
Oh, just two would be great. Two? Yep, two? yep. <laughs> we'll each have a half. <laughs> we'll each have three halves. Boom. Oh, the catfish. Gotta love New Orleans, baby. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Say it right, man. All right. New Orleans? New Orleans, baby. New Orleans, baby. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Fried shrimp's the winner. I'm gonna tell you fried, that. fried shrimp is the winner? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very Prove me wrong, baby. Okay. <laughs> Look at the size of those. They were so cool. Marvin, thank you. Got the grilled shrimp, the fried catfish, and then actually I didn't even originally first order the fried shrimp, but Marvin said it's the best. He said, you have to try the fried shrimp. So I ordered another fried shrimp, so three of them to go. They are huge and heavy and fully dressed, fully loaded. Because they sliced the bread all the way through without leaving uh, it attached, he has to like, push it together so fast so that it sticks all together. Just amazing sandwich skills. Okay, though that's the fried shrimp. Let's open up the the next guy here, which is the grilled shrimp. Oh yeah, this one's the grilled shrimp. Oh wow. That looks amazing. So nestled in there. Final one we have here is the fried catfish. <laughs> I love how they just fully dress them, loaded with ingredients, loaded with a small mountain of shredded lettuce. Oh man, that smells incredible. We have to start with the fried shrimp. The exploding, overstuffed fried shrimp. I love how it's just, yeah, exploding with shrimp. Marvin instructed us to eat this as fast as possible. I loved Marvin's character. He was like, don't be one of those, don't be one of those guys who takes this too far away to eat it. He's like, eat it fast, eat it hot. You don't go anywhere, just eat it immediately. He's like, don't take too many photos either. Okay, thank you, Marvin. It's still hot, let's go. Oh wow, yes. That is awesomely loaded with shrimp. The texture of them, the crispiness, even the bread is incredible because it's slightly chewy, the French bread, but really fluffy on the inside. Great texture throughout. A good combination, especially with the tomato and the acidity that comes from it. Shrimp is well cooked and well prepared. Nothing's overdone, and the bread, as you said, like a slight bit of chewiness yeah. to it. Yet on the it's top, got an it's still amazing, flaky. Like, like, yep. That is phenomenal. Oh. Yes. Well done, Marvin. <laughs> Mara, you gonna try to take a bite of the po' boy? It's okay. Huh? No. Mm. He's gonna take a bite of the po' boy. So fresh. So good. So much style. No. Next up, should we try the grilled shrimp? Yes. Look so at I know, that. So now Marvin said. Fried shrimp over the grilled shrimp. He said the fried shrimp is the best. He said it's the top seller as well. But also, I got a lot of tips, people saying they love the grilled shrimp, because there's not a lot of places that do grilled shrimp. Yeah, most most place places do. That is unique to definitely have the grilled yeah, shrimp. Yeah, most places do fried shrimp, but the grilled shrimp is I'm loving, rare. I'm loving the color on the shrimp. Yeah, that like sear. Definitely hit it with some seasoning as well. But they sprinkled in some melted butter, sizzled that down with the spices, with that seasoning. Down goes po' boy. Uh oh. Yeah, what you can do is kind of restuff it at the top. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, I, oh. 
the seasoning, the butter, and the, the lime. Actually, when they cooked the, the shrimp, he squeezed on lime, and that just went up in a poof of a cloud of steam. I love Marvin. Oh, man. But the grilled is better. I, I love the grilled. I'll take the grilled is incredible. Sizzle and that sear and that char from the hot plate, from the butter, from that Creole or Cajun seasoning. It tastes like it tastes brighter to me. Like oh, it tastes man. lighter and brighter. I think because it's grilled, instead of having the fried one that has the batter with it. There's definitely oh. some more spice on it. Wow. Right out there. Marvin. Marvin, what is this? Wow. Sweet potato pie. Thank you, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Marvin. <laughs> Make it hot and fresh, I think, so I think you might burn your hand on it. Okay? You can have bread. Mmm. Mm. What? Mm. Yeah. Mm. The grilled shrimp at Guy's. Oh, okay. It's the perfect combination of bouncy, flavored, seasoned shrimp to tomato, to mayonnaise, to I love that chewy texture, fluffy bread all at the same time. And the, the textures pickle. and the pickle. And the pickle. Well, that balances the whole thing because of yeah. that acidity to go with the, the mayonnaise. He just fully loaded this one as well. He did. I'll scoop and hold. Let's, I have to, I, they already put a little bit of... Let's do a cross section of this. Get it with a little bit of crystal inside. There we go. <laughs> Multiple layers of fried catfish. Benefits of having big Hot hands. sauce. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Again, there's hot sauce. There's... Crystal hot sauce? I think some kind of Louisiana hot sauce, a, a sprinkle of it. Tomato, lettuce. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh yeah. The pepper in there. Mm -hmm. The flakiness of the catfish. I love how soft it is, yet crunchy at the same time. Again, with that mayonnaise, the hot sauce in there. The bread is just perfect. It's squishy, but chewy. Not really crunchy. I wouldn't call it crunchy, but it's chewy. Yeah. And then the inside is very soft and supple. With the recipe, I don't add like mm. butter and stuff to make it soft, so it's chewy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would say that all three are extraordinary. Which one do you like best? Grilled shrimp. Yeah. I don't think you can be For me too. Shrimp. I think grilled shrimp um, is just but the, the pepper, on the next level. The pepper and the hot sauce on this, I absolutely love. I'm going back to that grilled shrimp. Perfectly balanced, flavor bursting, and just stuffed to the max that is that is delightful happiness this is happiness in new orleans here's a great part of a poba you'll always end up with uh, a mound of toppings at the bottom of your paper which you can scoop up which you will scoop up sauce oil juices meat juices pickle brine We gotta try that, that dessert, that sweet potato pie, right out of the oven. They actually do have a full, um, they have a, a menu here too, they have a daily special. You can get red beans and rice, you can, oh, look at the color of that. Oh, so they do like hot food too. Yeah. They do. Or, I mean, I po boys are their main thing, but they do have a number of hot dishes. It's still so hot. Oh, no, wait. Oh. Yeah, but they said it's really hot. Really, really hot. Mmm. <laughs> You gotta breathe it out. There we go. Inhale and exhale onto. Mmm. That is perfectly seasoned. It's not overly sweet. Mm -mm. You taste the natural, like foamy silkiness of the sweet potato. A few more bites of the catfish po' boy, which is also outstanding. They're all three incredible. He's hot. I've been here for 27 years. 27 years. I've been here for 43. Oh, okay. 43 okay. years, but me personally, 27 years, I've made over a million po' boys myself. A million po' boys. boys. Over a million, really. Over a million po' boys. I don't, I don't really want to say that because I always tell people when I hit a million, I was dropping the night, <laughs> walking out. <laughs> but if I'd have only saved a dollar a po' boy, 
could have done that. <laughs> no, I love what I do. I, I would yeah, do oh, you I can tell you love, you can tell you love what you do. I'm it's, I love your style, yes. You're Thank you so much. One, you're one of the only ones that does the grilled shrimp as well. Well, you know, it's hard to find. Yeah. Mm. Okay. We're moving on to the next place. Conveniently, just down the street, like a five minute walk, if that, is another legendary place to eat po' boys. And so we're gonna go there next. I love all the restaurants, all the food spots within, tucked within the neighborhoods in New Orleans. The next place that we're having a po' boy is Damalises. They started in 1924. That's a hundred years of po' boys. This is an old school spot. They're known for their fried shrimp po' boys and probably all other po' boys as well. But I love the location. It's a historic dining destination and it's just a, a beautiful place. Let's go try our next po' boy. Okay, <laughs> no a large shrimp. A, lar a large shrimp. Okay, the way we usually dress that. Mayo, lettuce, pickle, ketchup, and hot sauce. Everything, hot yep. Hot and also, I think a half a little roast beef. Such a friendly place. They have some tables right inside. And actually, I guess this is a, a more of a sit-down restaurant. The tables are here. Um, I love the menu here on the side. Handwritten calligraphy. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Oh, fries. Those are beauties. Wow, fries. Oh, that's the roast beef. Don is ready on the show. Also, the roast, the roast beef includes two types of mustard. Ah, okay. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Ready, roast beef. Shrimp, the just home style atmosphere. This is a heritage, a historic dining destination. I have to begin with this classic shrimp, just bulging with shrimp. I love how it's fully dressed, fully loaded with all of those, um, the lettuce, the hot sauces, the mayonnaise. You can tell how hearty and thick that bread is. Look at that interior, wow. Again, the chewy crustiness of the bread, the soft, fluffy interior, the hot fried shrimp. It's kind of made a sauce of mayonnaise, plus the ketchup, plus I think some of the Louisiana hot sauce in there, or their special hot sauce in here. So that kind of coats the entire breading of the sandwich, gives it a, a juicy moistness. Oh yeah. So far, I just love the chewiness of the French bread. I think for me, that's one of the, the standout features of a po' boy. And that kind of light batter of the shrimp. And again, the layers of gravy and Swiss, there's just layer upon layer, three layers of gravy within this roast beef. Two types of mustard, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the juicy sogginess of that. Oh man. I love how the roast beef is cut so thin. 
and then again, just drenched in multiple layers of gravy. My first roast beef po'boy. Mm. Oh wow, that is awesome. And that is so saucily amazing. As you bite down, the gravy just squeezes out. It gets the flavor of the mustard, a little bit of the hot sauce. Is there hot sauce in there? I'm not totally sure. The crunch of the lettuce, the Swiss, and even the where that how she layered in the gravy. She protected the gravy from the bread so it didn't get too soggy. I've got to get some of that crystal on there to bump it up. Mm. It's just sliding out the the back end, dripping onto the plate. But you know you're gonna want to lick your plate, all of that meat juice. Mm. Because the bread is so durable, it holds up incredibly well for that saucy roast beef. They're both fantastic. I'm sure everything they make here is fantastic. Gotta try these fries too. Spiral cut. Mm. Okay, fries are amazing. So crispy, not dry at all on the inside. Silky. Oh, great po' boys, great service. Truly an old school historic destination. We're moving on to the next place. Next up on this ultimate po' boy tour of New Orleans, we drove kind of across the city on the lakefront. We're at a place called RNO's, which is an Italian Creole restaurant. They have pizzas and pastas and spaghettis. They are famous and people rave about their special type of po' boy. I don't think I've seen a restaurant with an entire roll of kitchen paper towels on the table. That's it, I think, I think that's a great sign. I think that means we're in for some sauce. Roast beef, po' boy. Roast beef, the half or the whole? The whole, please. Fully dressed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Will you need anything else right now? That's all, thank you. Another Coke Zero for you, babe? Another Coke Zero for you? No, thank you. Here it is in all its glory. And again, this is a full Italian Creole restaurant, so they have all sorts of pastas. I think they even have pizza on the menu. But the famous, the po' boy that people come here for is the roast beef po' boy. It is huge immediately upon getting it. It's just overflowing onto the plate. And of course, served with a side of paper towels, which it looks like you'll need. Immediately you see that it's a different type of bread. It's a seeded sesame seed bread. Wow, really, really crispy. I think it's toasted even, it's so crispy. You can hear that crunchiness, that crispiness, served with a mound of pickles on the side. I think I'll just try to pick it up so we can deconstruct it a little bit and see the different layers. Oh, you can feel the, the soggy juice is starting to flow out of the roast beef. Oh, just bulging. It's exploding with roast beef and they've, it looks like the roast beef is kind of shredded. The gravy is just juicing. There's tomatoes, there's lettuce, there's mayonnaise in there. And then just the really, really crispy bread. Oh wow, that's, that is saucy. Mayonnaise is oozing out of it. Okay, on your first bite of this roast beef po' boy, you know why it's so famous and why everybody raves about it. Oh man, that's straight like a home roast. The gravy is addictively flavorful. It has this amazing balance of salty, concentrated beefiness. There's so much mayonnaise in there, making this creamy sauce. This is one of those po' boys where once you pick it up, I don't think you want to risk setting it down. Yeah, I think the only thing I want to risk 
doing right now is adding on some Tabasco. I'm willing to risk that one. There's so much mayonnaise there in there. And normally I don't, I'm not a big fan of mayonnaise. But I think when it mixes with that gravy, it creates an almost Thousand Island kind of flavor to it that just like makes it so creamy and rich. I will also risk picking up some of the, the pickles and some of the drippings to put stuff back in. Toss in some pickles. Time for the second half. Oh yeah, second half is a little harder to pick up as the juices have, juices have saturated into the bread. When it's time for your second piece, you kind of have to cradle it with both hands. At this stage, I just feel like I'm covered in roast beef. I think they go through a lot of paper towels here. Roast beef po' boy, worth the effort to come here. Oh, that was hearty and flavorful. Next up on this ultimate po' boy tour of New Orleans, we're in the neighborhood, and from what I understand, the race course is just down the road, I think, the next block, and so that's why it's known as Liuza's by the track. A lot of people have mentioned that it's the greatest place to grab a meal, to grab a po' boy, before you go to the race course. They have gumbo, they have a variety of grilled foods, they have a variety of po' boys. But we came here specifically, because well, we're on the po' boy tour, we came specifically for their signature dish, which is fresh shrimp sautéed in a New Orleans barbecue sauce stuffed into a French bread pistolette. So it's the barbecue shrimp po' boy. Thank you very much. Also got some gumbo on the side just to taste it. But what I really came here to try, what we came to try, is the barbecue shrimp po' boy. That is a unique creation. I don't even know if it's pick upable. No. Is it pick upable? I'm gonna do this one little part. <laughs> I'm gonna do the tip and pick that up and just throw some shrimp on the top. It's just like a total sloppy, delicious mess of sauciness with shrimp just overflowing out onto the plate with a loaf that's, oh, it's actually hollowed out on the inside. Now, New Orleans style barbecue shrimp is not actually barbecued at all, but it's more of like a pepper butter sauce. And it's kind of what I'm thinking, butter, pepper, garlic. I have no idea what the knife is for. Oh yeah, it's just like completely soaking up all of that gravy, all of that. I wonder if they have an official strategy of how to eat this. Look, it's just a pocket of bread just completely filled up and it's so saucy. I'm gonna just throw those, throw those pickles over there. You think pick up the top first? I think that looks like a solid plan. The top one you can pick up, throw a few shrimp on the top. Yeah. Dip it into the butter. What you do is you just grab a handful of whatever you can pick up. It's not served with a spoon either. There we go. That's my first bite right there. Oh, wow. Oh, that sauce is amazing. I don't know what that is. No. Honestly, it reminds me of the gravy from Biscuits and Gravy. That's what it reminds oh, yeah. Me of. Oh, wow. Yeah, that sauce is... It is a gravy. It is, not yet. That has to be the most addictive gravy I've, I've ever had. And you really taste the pepper. You taste the butteriness of it. And then those little shrimps, which are those little bouncy little shrimps that are just coated in the gravy. And the, the bread of this po' boy is just there to like sop up the gravy, basically. I kind of want to pick up this whole saturated loaf, though, just for the, for the experience. Pepper inside the... I don't know if it was a great idea to pick it up, but if you do choose to pick it up, there's no going back because your fingers are just going to be coated in that gravy. That's what I need is some crystal. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. That. Tell me when. Okay, that should be good. 
can't get any juicier than this. I bet my fingerprints are within this po' boy. <laughs> Once you pick this up, you're ready to fully commit. There's no, there's no setting it down. That lemon with the Louisiana chili sauce, that extra vinegar, that gravy has to be one of the most addictive gravies you'll ever have. And that sauce, wow, that sauce. That sauce is drinkable, that gravy. And I like it with the, I like it with the pickle on top. And of course you gotta have some Louisiana hot sauce cannot miss it. And then in order to eat this, you literally have to just like put your face into it. Shrimp down. Uh oh. It's like a bounty ball. I had to try the gumbo here too. It is a seafood gumbo, but it's a lot of sausage. I think the andouille, you can see, oh, there's a bit of okra in here. You can see the celery, the, the herbs in there. Oh, and the bay leaves as well. There's some great, that's very aromatic. The gumbo is quite thin here compared to other versions of gumbo that I've had. Mm -hmm. It's more of an herbaceous taste. Not too rich. Mm. The earthiness of the sausage, the bounciness of the shrimp, very herbaceous gumbo. Onions, celery, bay leaves. I like it. This is kind of slightly strange to eat but it is really, really tasty. Mm. Oh. Highly recommended. That was a great stop on this ultimate po' boy tour of New Orleans. Finally, lastly, and to complete this ultimate po' boy tour of New Orleans. This place is an institution. It's a destination. We're at the Parkway Bakery and Tavern. I was just reading some of the artwork around the building. It dates back to 1911. So again, this is a historic destination. It is a heritage restaurant. They have this massive, huge tent outdoor section. The patio, there's a bar section. This is the indoor section. We definitely have to try a type of po' boy that we haven't tried yet here. Uh, for here, please. What's your name? Mark. Do you have oyster po' boy today? Yes. For order number 44. Barks root beer. I think it's it was a kid since I've had a Barks root beer. Oh, that is great. It's good. It's really good. I used to love this when I was a kid. Oh man. And they have it in a bottle here. That's classic. Po' boy should be here very soon. Is it Mark 44? The oyster? Okay. Thank you. Here it is. The final po' boy of this ultimate po' boy tour of New Orleans. This is the oyster po' boy, which they only, again, they only have it on Wednesday and Thursday until it runs out. Deep fried Gulf oysters. Oh, you can smell that. You can smell the crispiness. You can smell the deep friedness of those oysters. Oh yeah. The usual condiments, I got it fully dressed. There's mayonnaise, there's a handful of lettuce, there's tomatoes, a variety of sauces, I believe, on the bottom, and then just loaded. Oh, there's a few pickles here, and then again, just loaded with fried Gulf oysters. Okay, I'm gonna try a move to pick up the entire thing. And I should have told them not to cut it. Oh well. Anyways, on the back there, there is a, an article with, I believe, the owner taking a bite of this gigantic oversized po' boy possibly loaded with oysters like this, and he's just taking a bite. Looks so satisfying, I have to try it. Mm. Oh. oh yeah, that was satisfying. My first ever oyster po' boy. They're so soft, they just melt in your mouth and they're battered, so they're, they're just 
crispy on the edges. And as you keep on chewing, then you taste more and more of those oysters, the flavor just bulging through. I'm gonna restuff it with some of these oysters here. And then show you that cross section. It's just sprouting with oyster goodness. Just blobs of oysters. <laughs> Gotta get a little bit of crystal on that. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. Crispy and melt in your mouth at the same time with that hot sauce, that vinegar to bump it up. It's just like a mound of breaded fried oysters. Crispy and warming. Wow. You need to add crystal with every bite. Oh yeah, that's incredible. And again, one of my favorite things about the po' boy eating experience are all, is, are all the, the sauces, the lettuce, the proteins that are left at the bottom of your paper. It's always a completely unique formation which you can reinsert into your sandwich, re-scoop up. Here we go, part two. that golden fried gulf oyster po' boy. That brings us to the end of this ultimate po' boy food tour of New Orleans. And so when you come to New Orleans, be sure to try all five places. They're so good. And again, so much character. Each one of them has a different identity, slight alterations, a different specialty, and they're all worth eating in a row if you can. And I'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite po' boy? in New Orleans. Let me know in the comments below. And again, big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also remember to subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. And also be sure to watch more New Orleans, Louisiana food videos, Creole and Cajun food, and the amazing hospitality. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.